Hello, everyone. This is Tyrewolf20 and... Bahamar! Bahamar! How's it going, buddy? Good. I've been busy. Oh? What you been doing? I have been expanding out our basement. Ah, uh, that's why you wanted my excavator last episode. Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks fancy. It is... You're loving chisel, chisel, aren't you? Oh, yeah. It's it's pretty nice. It's, it's a cool nice. mod. It's pretty nice. My By hope is the that way, we can build a whole bunch of our automation stuff down here. Can I totally, like, like break the rules of, like, what we're doing and role-playing? What do you want to do? Well, I just want to mention to you that, did you know that you can make microblocks out of chisel? I had heard about that. Yeah, but it needs a config setting. Ah. Yeah. So... If you know anybody who has admin access to any servers that we both play on sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> subtle, 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 dang, dang, dang. <laughs> so I'm working on our nifty fancy farm over here. Do you want to see some fun things that you can do with Steve's factory manager? Sure, but I guess that means I have to come upstairs. Huh? Well, if you want, but it's going to be flowcharts, so that might be not so fun for you. But, I mean, we can try. What about... Uh, oh man, my TPS reports. Yeah. So, like, Steve's factory manager, you can basically, like, flow items from one inventory to another with all kinds of, like, rules and stuff. Um, and that's what I'm about to implement over here. So, what I'm going to do is tell this thing that the input chest for the process we're about to do. And can you see what I'm doing here? When if you it's the block right underneath the chest. Yeah, I think I can. You just have one block in okay. there. Block in there. Yeah. Are you seeing me click around in it? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, then you're not seeing what I'm doing. Okay, um, but so the inventory for this is the iron chest, so you might need to do something else right now, Pahamar. And I'm gonna tell it it can pull out any items it wants. That should be cool. Um, so any items in the world are allowed to be pulled out of the iron chest because I set it to a blacklist and I made it empty. So that's set there. Um, and then what I want to do is create an output and the output will be the planter. And it doesn't matter what side we activate. So I'll just activate up or north, something like that. doesn't really matter. Uh, as long as one of the sides is activated, we're cool. So... I guess north is active at the moment. I don't know how this works. OK, that's what it is. OK, so north is active. And the only items we're allowed to put in here are seeds. So what items do I need to get in there for the time being? Uh, we're going to want um, rice, soybean, grape, and saplings. Well, let's do saplings now, because that's going to be easy, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify um, items, whitelist, saplings. So saplings are here. So that will allow saplings into the planter. But one thing I'm going to specify is that I want to keep a certain amount in there at all times. So to do that, I can right click on the sapling. I can definitely tell you, you're not going to be needing to do any excavating for dust anytime soon. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised how much dust I'm digging up. So the only other thing we have to do with this is tell it um, what to do, or when to trigger this, so we have to create a trigger. Don't be surprised when you come back if there's no floor for you to walk on. Okay. So every one second it's transferring some saplings in here and doing what it should be doing. So if I take them out, it's making four in there. Why is it only putting four in there? It should be doing five. So that's that. Simple flowcharts. But now we're going to make it more complicated. 
So the other thing we want to do is we can tell it What are you telling it? What's that? What are you telling it? I'm telling it how to craft rice seeds out of rice. Does it understand you? It does. Are you speaking its language? I'm trying to. What does its language sound like? So by default, you can only connect one thing to another thing. Dude, Jizzle OP. It's cool, isn't it? You know, I don't mind these... I didn't mind these 9x9 huts before, but now I feel like they've served their purpose. You can change it up if you want. I don't know about you, but I feel a little cramped in them. See how it is? Hey, you're barely in them. Alright, so this should still that. work. Because basically I'm just splitting it up. So if I set this up right, my, uh, my sapling should still autofill. Nice, they do. Now I want to add to my output and say you're allowed to have also... No floor. Oops. And if I did this right, we should be having rice seeds in here. Presumably. And we're not. Why not? We should have rice in here, right? Oh, we don't have rice in here. That's why. Oh, you know what? It probably used all the rice and planted it all. Yeah, it did. Nice. That's what I wanted to see. All right, so soybeans will be the real test of this because we have like 50 soybeans. So what this should do is exactly what I want it to do. So I'm just going to have to do another crafter. I should really make a hammer. Like a Tinker's Construct one. Yeah. Yeah, because this excavator's totally got me spoiled. You know what would be awesome here is the mercurial eye. That would be awesome. You like you like 14 e2 fans just like twitched <laughs> hey we've got soybean seeds in the planter nice and it's constantly refilling them and planting them beautiful that's what i wanted to see cool oh yeah this is working the way i want it to pahamar it's working just wanted you to know nice i should come check it out yeah. Um, so soybeans, uh, rice, and soybeans. Oh, I can see when it's done, though. Yeah. Uh, cantaloupes and crops should be fine. Rice should be fine. And potatoes and carrots should also be fine. So I shouldn't have to do this for anything else. So that's cool. 
All right, can we come back in a minute, Pahamar, after all this growing is done? Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, see you guys in a minute. All right, Pahamar, I'm back, and I have another plan for some automation I'd like to do, and it's going to require Steve's factory manager again. Imagine that. I know. It's actually solving, like, two of my problems in the same episode. How cool is that? I'm making an item valve, um, and for that, I need a dropper. You know you have dropper. Yeah, you have dropper on you, right? Yeah, but I still want that there because that's um. Actually, I should probably put the well, I left water there, right? Yeah, I want that there. I want that to stay there. That's for my seeds. You're right. We do have a lot of dust. <laughs> I wasn't lying. Um, I lying man. Yeah. By the way, that um. That thing that I said will take a really long time to run out of power, ran out of power. Imagine that. Imagine that. Yeah, the thing under the auto packager. So um, I turned off our sifters until um, our dynamo starts filling her up. Uh, yeah, there we go. yeah, I made us a uh, iron hammer too, because I'm breaking all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Sweet. Um, I wanted to get the um, fruit picker up, but I just don't have the dirt for the fruit picker farm at the moment, so I'm kind of waiting on that. Um, I should probably check this guy. I've got a stack and a half of saplings. I might do one more thing here, just to be safe. I want to turn on the um, ability to pick leaves and kind of set it and forget it almost kind of thing, but I don't want to run out of saplings over there. So I'm just going to grab another chest. I'm going to tell it to keep like 10 saplings in the chest at all times and then not have to worry about it um, running out. So if I grab like this dude. If I have, um, oh, you know what am I using? No, I'm not using them all. I'm using four. So I could have one more flow control. I just need another output. Yeah, we got such a pretty basement. We do. All this vanity work I'm doing. Sweet, that worked. Cool. So now I can switch this guy to sheer leaves, yes. All right, now I want to use Steve's factory manager to automate the collection of PCBs. So, Pahamar, did I ever tell you about the etching with PCBs and how annoying it is? Yeah, you showed yeah, that to me in a previous, previous episode. Okay, so remember I said that... Turn it into in... a robot. What? Oh, you were a robot oh. for a second. Oh, was I? Sorry. Um, so you have to drop it in etching acid, which we should have in one of these inventories somewhere. There it is. And there's a couple things. Number one, uh, you have to drop the item in etching acid. Number two, it has to stay in etching acid for five minutes. And number three, um, etching acid hurts you when you jump in to get it out. So you can imagine how annoying that is. Also, out of curiosity, do you know how long it takes for an item to vanish from the world? Five minutes. <laughs> yeah. So, how fun is that? Uh, I'm gonna go with not. You, sir, win a prize. Uh, but I think I found a cool way to automate it with item valves. You haven't told me what I'm gonna tell you. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, you win nothing, sir. Oh, that's a terrible prize. You win nothing. Okay, now that's more exciting. Yes, I thought you would think so. Well, that's what you get for stealing fuzzy lifting liquid drink. What? What did I? Yeah. Somebody will get it. Apparently not you. I'm on live so lighters. references do tend to go okay. my head. Uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Oh, yes. Yes. Somebody's going to correct me with the proper name of the liquid. I just about fell right into know. the etching ass that you put there. put there. I told you it hurts. Don't do that. Well, you put it there. Well, I was putting it in the corner that was kind of out of the way and not being used. Oh, so I should... Actually, you know what? I'm going to move this. I'm going to reverse this. Scratch that and reverse it. Of course, it fell down. 
Ouch. Palmar, you're doing a nice job with the basement, sir. Thank you. I intend for you to put lots of things there. Yeah? All right, then I'll put the chest here. And so here's a neat trick. I'm going to set this up without the liquid first. So we're going to do an input. And the input is going to be an inventory that is the this guy. Um, and his target direction will be up, right? So above the block. Um, and then his output will be the chest. And his target doesn't matter because chests can in and out of any side. And his whitelist. So this is cool, right? So any item that lands in here, I'm going to make it actually a blacklist for now so that every item works. Um, and we connect this to this. And then the only other thing we need, oh, what am I missing here? The whitelist is empty, blacklist. And then a trigger, which will be every second. It's going to pick up items. So any item that I drop in here like that should get picked up within a second and put in the chest. Sweet. So it's working. Hooray. Um, however, if I wanted to, I could whitelist this. So I'm going to say items, whitelist. So now cobblestone is the only thing allowed in there. So if I dropped this in and I dropped cobblestone in, uh, the cobblestone should get picked up, but not the item. Cool. Um, so what I'm going to do, in fact, is whitelist. So the um... all right, well, that might be enough for now. What's that? And throw an etching acid to develop, and that should get us the unassembled PCB after the etching acid piece. So, uh, in theory, if this is correct, which I'm pretty sure it is, I should be able to just drop this here, drop this item, and it should start etching. Uh, and I'll drop this as well, and it should start etching. And what we should find um, after five minutes, because that's how long it takes to etch, that those items will be in the chest, hopefully. And I really hope they don't, like, disappear or something. There we go. Another elevator. Another elevator. Oh, thank you. That is ideal, sir. You know what's even better about it? You didn't fall into what? the void. I didn't fall into the void. That is fun. Thank you, sir. And this thing should be done. Yes, 100% chance. Cool. I'm going to throw this in etching acid as well. So do you want to come back in five minutes, or are you doing anything right now that's exciting, Fahimar? I don't think I've done anything exciting so far this episode. OK. Well, you're doing important work. Yes, I'm work, giving work you Work that I find boring, things. and therefore I usually don't do boring work, because I get bored of it. Wow, uh, that, that totally is, you know. A circular reference. It's deep. <laughs> I'm harvesting deep with dire. oranges. Yeah. I'm harvesting oranges and sugar cane. Does that help? Only if I could make you fall. Uh, no, thank you. I will pass on falling into the void. Courtesy of Love just dust. It's just dust. I'm sure there's a void somewhere, and you would be the one to push me into it. That is probably true. Yeah, I'm going to eat a hamburger or a cheeseburger. Actually, yeah, let's see, eaten once. I made fish sandwiches. Mmm, delicious. So I don't need a hamburger. I could probably go with probably some salads. Grape salads? Yeah. Nice. Are you watching your, you watching uh, your... Minecraft waistline? Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm watching Not Wasting Food that we have very little of. Uh... It's a fun game. See, All right, so we'll be back be in a few minutes then. Is that what you think? Yeah, let's be back. Okay, we will be back, hopefully, with these things getting picked up correctly. All right, Pahamar, I'm back. Welcome back. I Welcome think back. I spent some time bone mealing some uh, seeds, and I think I'm ready for this process to cook off. Um, by the way, I set my 
output here to only pull out five items at a time. Because whenever I've had more than like, I don't know what the number is, but if you put a large number of items in a single stack into a pressure chamber interface, I've had it have problems. So I'm just being a little careful here, um, just trying to make sure, you know, that we're okay. But it looks like we should be. Uh, let's check on our PC things. Nice. We got some unassembled PCBs. That's cool. Um, the only problem with this setup here, guys, is that it does take five minutes for the PCBs to, you know, process. Um, so as a result, it's not the safest way to do it. Um, if there's a chance that they'll get deleted from the world if that block doesn't pick them up fast enough. Um, so for this reason, I definitely want to get the assembly I/O and the platform and all that stuff ready. So, oh, I'm actually running low on water. So that's the plan by Mar. I wanted to get that up and running. I'm making things pretty so, straight. Nice. Yeah, I think once we have this assembly line, it'll be way easier to get these unassembled PCBs. And then once that's done, like, dude. Dude, that's all I have to say. dude. Like, dude. Ooh, uh, you can see we're getting tons of good stuff here. I'm turning all my leaves into dirt and water. Um, and overall, this farm is actually working out pretty well. It's a little bit slow to grow stuff, but everything's still kind of in its early stage. But we do have 35 soybeans, so I will take those straight over here and get them cooked into firm tofu so we have more food. Sounds like a plan. I'm currently making sure we still have lots of room. Sweet. I because won't object to that. I feel like as soon as we get going into machines, like I know this is a lot of boring work. Um, right. Um, we're gonna need the room because like knowing you you don't just like oh this will totally just solve the problem for now kind of thing like, right you go aut automation you go full hog right so that needs one so why didn't this stuff cook up i should have gotten my items out of here no wrong one chiseler problems using the wrong chiseled Blocks, blocks. What's the problem here? Just trying to troubleshoot and see why we might not have gotten the items that I wanted. Okay. And... Where'd my squid seed blast? Oh, I bet I know what happened. Herpy derp. Dire derp. I forgot to turn Did this you off. Say Did you say dire dirt? Yeah, dire dirt. You make mistakes? Always. I, I I'm actually going to step this. Everything asleep. was my fault. Well, most things are, to be fair. I didn't tell my plastic output to not pull out the plastic, so it pulled out the squid seed plastic and like didn't craft the item I wanted crafted as a result. So hopefully nine's an okay number for this. So once I get this, I should be. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need a. I need a rose. That'll be a little bit boring. Um, do you want to come back in a minute, Pahamar? I want to bone meal some earth and get some. Hopefully, a rose. Yeah, that sounds like something that would be way less boring. Yeah, we'll be back in just a minute, guys. All right, Pahamar. Bits of bone mealing later, and I got myself my rose. Hooray! Woo! I'm excited, as our hopefully... Ham's Harvest Craft is awesome for all the seeds and stuff it gives us, but it also makes it really hard to get the stuff we want. Yes, absolutely. Um, so I need to get an orange dye, and then hopefully we have some grass seeds around here somewhere. Good, we do. So grass seeds plus orange dye should get us propulsion plant seeds, and then I'm going to need a little bit more bone meal. I'm just going to get a few of these guys, um, and then... I'll be able to make the stuff we need to make, and then I think we're going to have to wrap up here soon, Pahamar. Come back here, Propulsion Plant Seeds. Oh, this is going to have to be another item dropper one. They float? Yeah, they float away. They're giant jerks about it, too. I don't like jerks. Don't know many people that do, but yeah, these things are, wow, terrible. For a second, I thought you meant like World of Warcraft terrible. I was like, wow, that was harsh. Yeah, but no, that's not what I meant. They're really annoying. I need to get a dropper. Because, like, they kind of drift off in the direction based on how you drop them. 
and they're like even worse than um the other ones you did yeah they're really bad actually all right i think that's enough because i think i only need three wow you are just going crazy making things look nice aren't you well you know, well i'm not one to leave job half done correct someone's gonna make an ee3 joke in there <laughs> Poor Bahamar, always getting beat up. All right, so that should be everything I need to get this assembly line done. Then we can hand in the quest, and then we can wrap up, and we'll build this assembly line next episode. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Sounds good. Okay, yeah, cool. That, hopefully that, you that can make use of that room I was making downstairs. Definitely. At least that's kind of the plan. So we should have our unassembled PCBs around here somewhere. Good, I got my plastics. Got my unassembled PCBs. It was seven that I said I needed for this machine, so boom and boom. There we go, seven. And what I'm also going to want, I know I'm going to need some pressure tubes. All right, let's see. Assembly controller. Boom. I can make one of those. Beautiful. Don't shift-click that by mistake or I'd be really upset. Assembly laser. I need pneumatic cylinders. I need five pneumatic cylinders. I need six. I need 11 pneumatic cylinders. Ouch. Uh, those things are pretty complicated. They're rain plant seed plastic. How am I for rain plant seeds? And that's per one. Wow. All right. You know, what, Pahamar, we, we might need to come back. I'm, I think I need to get more rain plant seed plastic, and it's going to be a few minutes. So we'll be right back, guys. All right, Pahamar, I'm just cooking up a few more of these rain plant seed plastics. I think we're almost there with it. Come on, buddy. I need a lot of these, by the way. Um, I made a bunch of cannon barrels, which are basically a bunch of compressed iron. So, Pahamar, I just used a ton of compressed iron. We're going to need more very soon. Uh, I think I have very little left. Um, That's all right. That's all right. I mean, we had a ton of it, but I mean, we have like maybe half a stack, a little less than it. But it's easier to make now because we have the pressure chamber. So that's kind of the good news, at least. Wow, this air compressor is really cooking. All right, that might be close to enough. Let's see. So I can get the cylinders with some compressed iron here. So I need 11 of those, right? Nice. Just barely. All right, so uh, assembly I.O. unit. So I need two of these, so I need hoppers. It's crazy how much of this stuff you need. There's tons of iron downstairs if you're looking for it. Oh no, I have plenty of iron. So I need two I.O. units, so one, two, and a platform and a platform all oh, right i put my seed plastic away while i was doing all that crafting a minute ago i needed my inventory space and then i believe i need a laser sweet a laser. A laser yeah all right under pressure look at that dude quest line complete claiming reward oh my goodness yeah, the downside is we really only need one of those laser programs, but hey, we got more compressed iron, which is like exactly what we needed right now. So that's good news. Put that in the chest for me because I will definitely be happy to have that. All right, so what I think we'll do, guys, is um, we'll come back next episode to set up this assembly line thing, and then we no longer need this setup that I went through all the trouble building and then we didn't need anymore, which is good because that's fine. No, it's fine. Trust me. Like, it's good that we don't need that anymore. Good stuff. All right. And, I'm actually going to leave uh, this plastic uh, in here. Next time, when we come back, this base yeah, may look base may very look. different. It might. That's true. Because I'm going to keep working on this. Right. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having like a pulverizer, like you said, Bahamar, and maybe a furnace or something. And that's also like next on the list of quest objectives. Yeah, so... same as I wouldn't mind having like, you know, a proper place for water gets done and our cobble gets made. Like, we got the space, we got the tools, we got the technology. Yeah. Let's make this place look nice. Yeah, one of these days I'll even maybe do something fancy along the lines of, there we go, let this thing flow into here. Um, being a little bit of a better, I want to automate the turning on and off of this reactant dynamo and a couple other things I wouldn't mind automating, so. 
Let's see, we'll get this running again. To the top, should start auto-crafting this stuff. Nice. All right, so I'm going to turn our uh, sifters back on. That sounds good. Yeah. And we'll be good to go. All right, guys, so for now, Dial20 and Pahamar signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I have to repair my bone pick. All right, guys, take it easy. See you guys.